Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about 21 Savage. And we're going to be talking about all the Jacksonville rappers that he just got into it with while on social media. Now, 21 Savage was on the Clubhouse app, and it looks like he had a room where he had a lot of Jacksonville rappers in there. One of them specifically being none other than Fulio. Now, some of you might know Fulio as one of the breakout artists, breakout stars from the Jacksonville hip-hop scene. But it looks like there was a little bit of an argument between 21 Savage and and most of the Jacksonville rappers in the room. Now, since the start of the whole versus movement and people having these verses, it's been a lot of competition in the rap game, man. There's been people talking and comparing who could really go against who, what camps could go against what camps, what cities could beat what cities, and a couple of cities are hot right now, you know, in hip-hop. And Jacksonville happens to be one of those markets that's blowing up in hip-hop right now. You got Fulio, Spot'em, Got'em, Nardo Wick, Spinner Benz, Whopper with the Chopper, Young and Ace. I mean, the list goes on and on, you know what I mean? And it seemed like 21 Savage still feels that even though they got a crop of new MCs coming out of Jacksonville, they ain't messing with the A and they ain't messing with him. And he put it out there that he would take them all by himself. He could take the whole Jacksonville in a versus. And they weren't feeling that. So it was a little bit of a back and forth between Fulio and 21 Savage. Now, before we get to the clip and before we talk about the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's get right to it. Okay, so let's talk about 21 Savage talking about he could take on the whole of Jacksonville hip-hop by his lonesome. Now, let's not forget that 21 Savage has been in the game for some time now, and he has multiple platinum hits, even a Grammy under his belt. 21 Savage is doing this thing in a rap game, man. So when he says this, it sounds outlandish because you think of how many Jacksonville rappers are out here popping, but man, when you put catalog against catalog, 21 Savage might have a point. Now, I'm not saying this is all facts because the Jacksonville rap scene is fairly new. A lot of these cats are just getting in the game. And as you're going to hear in the clip, Fulio makes that point. They just getting their feet wet. They just doing their thing in the game. But give it some time to where they've been in the game like Atlanta and have all those connections and really be ingratiated into the hip hop atmosphere or hemisphere or whatever you want to call it man it'll definitely work out for them in the long run but man let's listen to the clip and the exchange between them and then come back for the commentary you know what i mean i could be jacksonville by myself this man said augusta bro jacksonville man, can't beat chicago you crazy bro i swear i can be jacksonville by myself bro i really can be jacksonville by myself bro don't oh, do God, it like bro. that bro we don't do it like that bro we're getting our feet wet it, bro. Yeah, y'all is, but I beat y'all by myself though. Facts. Let me get, let me get, let me get spot man, man. Y'all trip. You spot them, Ace. Who else y'all got? Man, he can't we, got, we got Tote. We got Chameleon. She had a platinum rack. We got Young Trout. He made birthday shit one time for the birthday shit. That's quite, I don't know that going crazy. We got a lot of little niggas that's in the industry that got. Y'all gonna that's have to play hard. every spot on got a little. That's been, that, got, that's been a bin. Hard, hard. That's what I'm saying. We got a young wave, but y'all still ain't got enough, though, bro. <laughs> y'all need five. See, y'all trying to, y'all trying to, y'all trying to categorize. I don't, I don't, I don't know what we talking about. Was. City versus city, man. Nah, nah. Jacksonville just got on the wave. He ain't, he ain't been long enough. He ain't enough. But if you go with like the around that same age then yeah 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 i agree with that now as you heard in that exchange on social media that 21 savage at first was comparing jacksonville and chicago and then fulio chimed in and you know he stuck his chest out there he was like nah man we could we we could be whoever and yeah, that's a that's a big statement because Chicago got a lot of hit makers. You know what I mean? If you did a comparison Jacksonville hip hop versus Chicago hip hop, even though don't get me wrong, I know Jacksonville is super hot right now. Like it's one of the hottest scenes. It's in the top three right now. You know what I mean? But if you were to do a Chicago rapper and you have to include like say like Kanye and cats like that, and then even like the old Chief Keef albums and stuff like that, it would get real ugly real quick. You know what I mean? Because you would be, you basically be battling between the new and the old. And 
one of the things that the young lady said at the end was that, you know, Jacksonville scene is real new and they got a, a lot of young cats in the rap game and they doing big numbers coming in the game. So, man, it looks good for them in the future. And their future is laid out. Like, all these cats are super duper young. You know what I mean? Like, I think, like, Spot em, Got em isn't even 21 years old. I think Young and Ace just turned 21. Fulio as well. Man, it's like they their future is set up. You know what I mean? So, that's it's a good investment for Jacksonville now. But going against, like, some of these these cities that's been in the rap game for a long time, that's going to be tough, man. That's going to be tough. So let's talk about going against 21 Savage. And 21 Savage stuck his checks out there. He said, y'all can't go against me by myself. Now, to be real, 21 Savage has a lot of hits under his belt. But when you're talking about going against multiple people with multiple hits, I still think 21 Savage might have a little fight on his hands. Even though, if you were to look at his discography, you would definitely see that he's got a lot of platinum hits, a lot of hits that are just went, went crazy, man. Like I said earlier, he's got a Grammy for a lot with J. Cole, and he's he's got Rockstar with him and Post Malone. That went diamond. Then you got it, 21 Savage by itself is a beast. Like, you can't take his catalog lightly, man. He's got diamond joints on there. So, you know, it's it'll be hard to beat him, man. It'll be hard to beat 21 Savage. Even if Jacksonville combined all their hits together, man. Even though, like Fulio said, they've got a lot of people coming. You know, I I hate to hamper on that point, but they're new to the game and they're brand new bringing artists into the game and everybody keeps, seems to be jumping out with a hit or some type of song that goes viral, man. So uh, those are good signs. Those are good signs. So it's a good investment in Jacksonville hip-hop in the future. But do y'all think that 21 Savage is dissing or do you just think that he thinks he's better than the Jacksonville hip hop scene or do you think that Fulio was just standing his ground and saying what he had to say to make sure that people know that Jacksonville has come stepped in the rap game and they here for the stay man that's why they're the hottest in the game right now besides Memphis besides Dallas and when I say hottest in the game I'm talking about new scenes the scenes that are just popping up you know what I mean and even though like Dallas and Detroit, they have scenes that have been in the rap game before. And even Memphis, they have a long running scene. And Memphis is probably, I'll put them high at the list too, as hottest scenes in the rap game. Like they way up there at the top. Because these cats, they keep coming with, or these scenes, they keep coming with brand new artists who are just breaking out with smash hits and their own movement. So that says a lot. When you have your own movement, you have people behind you, and you're making a lot of noise, that just that just does a lot, man. So I know Jacksonville is feeling like 21 Savage is dissing, but really, he's just putting it out there that his catalog is real tough. And if you were to look at his catalog, I, I man, I say everybody go look at it. You would be impressed at how many platinum uh, plaques that he has, how many platinum hit songs that he has, his top 40s, it's all there, man. So he, he's a beast on his own, man. So he has a right to say that, but I don't think, you know, I, when you talk about going against a whole scene, it could get crazy, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that 21 Savage is on point, that his catalog is so good that he could even take on a whole city? Or do you feel that Jacksonville is just new in the game? They just getting their feet wet, like Fulio said, and man, they time is coming. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell, so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.